Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, I hope that you are very well. Welcome back to episode 2 of Making My Dreams Come True, also known as Building a Coffee Van. Um, this series and this video are what's going to become hopefully a video diary of my journey towards that goal. This is definitely not a video where I'm telling you how to do it or, um, or giving you any sort of insights just yet into into um, how you can build a coffee van. I am at this point just simply sharing where I'm at and what I'm getting on with. Yeah, and like I say, hopefully eventually this video series will become something that is useful um, to other people who want to do the same thing or maybe you're just interested in following my journey with this. So yeah, if you are in the right place, that's amazing. I hope that you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and um, please do hit the likes and subscribe button if you can, that would mean the world to me. It would really support this channel and um, yeah, like I say, if you're interested in just watching this journey, that will mean that you don't miss out on any of these videos. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Basically, I said in my last episode that I was going to focus on the name, a budget and just like general research. I have definitely stuck to the general research, I've been watching lots of videos and reading lots of stuff online, generally about coffee and um, van building and also sort of building a business. Um, budget, I'm really struggling to get on with to be honest, probably because I just feel like I'm starting from zero, like it's really hard to start from zero and so I'm procrastinating there a little bit but Hopefully this video today will help me get a little bit more ahead with that one. And then the third thing was the name. Again, the name, I'm really stuck with it. I've got one name in mind that I'm not going to share right now, but I'm just not 100% if it's the right one yet. I like it a lot and it aligns quite well with me and who I am and who I've been posting on this YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff. I do have a bit of attachment to it already, but yeah, I'm just not, I'm not 100% sure yet if it's the right one. However, as we'll get on to a little bit later in the video, I do need to start or I do want to start getting on with a bit of social for the coffee stuff. I'm going to set up an email, set up a TikTok account um, just to get the ball moving and then yeah, I can change the name later down the line if I need to. However, that's jumping the gun slightly. Basically, what I'm going to do today is just go through a very brief sort of um, business plan just to break away from zero. So yeah, today we're going to be starting the coffee van business plan. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I've watched some videos and I've read some articles and I've got a loose outline of what my business plan should look like or the beginnings of one should look like. So I'm going to share that with you today. Number one is vision. So what is the vision of this brand? What is the vision of this company? For me, the vision is um, bringing people together with amazing specialty coffee. I want my coffee to be as um, thought out and as high quality as possible. That's going to be a really, really big focus for the coffee van is sourcing amazing beans, um, having a really good relationship sort of like with the farmer and um, seller of the coffee. I'm not quite sure what those words are just yet, but yeah, and like having it seasonal perhaps, um, really focusing on sort of the impact that we're having on the planet, that kind of stuff. Also involved in the vision is being completely vegan, as eco-friendly as possible, um, and like earth-friendly as possible, and also human-friendly. You know, I want, I want everybody to come to my coffee van because they know that they're going to be treated with amazing um, service and respect, not to be like super cliche. Okay, so company description was then sort of like the next stepping stone from that. For me, that's kind of, it, it's kind of everything that I've just said, plus the fact that it's gonna be independent and um, personally run. It's my business and I will be running it. I will be in the coffee van, making the coffee, selling the stuff. And that sort of takes me on to what type of business I will be setting myself up as. <laughs> Because, you know, in terms of the legal stuff, you have to set yourself up as a business. I did originally think perhaps sole proprietor, 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 sole proprietorship, I think that's how you say it. That's basically where it's one person, it's your business, and you, are the, you and the business are not necessarily separate. You are the business. So the reason why I'm not going to go with that one is because um, it then makes you personally liable for any debt, any 
sort of mishaps, all the sort of tax and everything, it's, it's all through you personally and that's not exactly how I want it to be run, you know, I do want to be a separate entity from the business, so it looks like, from what I can see online, I will be setting up as an LLC. So LLC stands for Limited Liability Company, is that right? Yeah, lim Limited Liability Company. Um, so basically LLC is what it is what most small businesses seem to set up as and it's kind of the same in that you're sort of like a small corporation but it just means that I wouldn't be personally responsible for like say any tax or what's the word? debt. <laughs> yeah I just I just think in terms of like the legal world that sounds like a better option. Obviously I'm going to do a lot more research into this and I'll get advice um, where I can. Okay so next up um, is kind of like market research, market analysis, and um, also USP, which stands for Unique Selling Point. This is just something that I'm gonna do over time. I've not done it all now, and I'm not gonna do it all quickly. I just will probably for the next few months do a little bit of on online research. How that even is done is something that I'll have to learn. <laughs> Maybe I'll share with you how I, how I do that, but looking at sort of like trends um, what sort of profit people are making in this kind of business, um, when they would make more money versus when they might have a quieter period, that kind of thing, what um, what sells basically, that kind of stuff. That'll be a big point of research for me. So yeah, I need to look at like who my customers are going to be, what needs do they have, what am I going to bring to them that is going to um, fill a gap in their day. Um, obviously a very simple answer is anybody that wants a coffee but you know to go in I'll probably have to go a little bit deeper into that and put together a thorough answer. All of this by the way is basically so you can get money from investors or get a sort of bank loan. You need a business plan in order to do that. Not only is this going to help me have a better idea of where I'm going with this but yeah like I say if I did want to get an investor or a loan this is what I would need to provide in order to get that. So, um, where is something I'll need to think about where I'm gonna sell the coffee, I need to be realistic about where I can actually sell, how easy it is to get a permit, how easy it is to apply for a festival, how much does it cost, all that kind of stuff. And then how do I get these people to come and know about the coffee van and want to come and buy a coffee from me. We're getting towards the end now, so the next part of the business plan is marketing and sales. <laughs> I'm gonna to need to write some sales goals as in how much I want to be making each month, how much I want to make in my first year, how much I want to make per event or festival based on you know what I've spent to get there, um, doing a little bit of a um, income versus outcome type thing. Again this will be this will be stuff that's going into the budget when I eventually get around to doing it. <laughs> um, but yeah say I've paid £500 to have my van on site at a festival and then I've paid so much amount for the coffee, I've paid X amount for maybe a bit of marketing, I want to be making sort of like double that or you know 1.5 times that to be making a little bit of money from it. Not only to sort of pay myself but I'd also like to be reinvesting my money into the van, reinvesting my money into the business overall, potentially, you know, donate some money to charities that I believe in, that kind of thing. I don't want to be a greedy business owner, I just want to make enough money to live, make enough money to have a nice life that I enjoy whilst also doing a little bit of good if I can. Marketing, to be honest, it's mainly going to be online marketing. I believe that social media is going to be my absolute best friend. Um, the way the world is now, everything is on social media, everybody's on social media and I've seen just from places in New York where I live, you know, companies or small businesses that have set up, they've grown on Instagram and now they're like busy every day, they got, you know, they're doing really, really well for themselves. The main platform that I'm going to use for the coffee van will be TikTok just because it's new, everybody's on there, it's upcoming, it's sort of like taking over a little bit from Instagram, um, it's also very visual and I want everything that I do for this to be very visual. Um, so that is going to be my main my main platform. I'll obviously post on Instagram, maybe set up a Facebook page, but yeah, my actual main marketing tool will most likely be TikTok, and then um, anything that goes alongside it, I'm going to post on this on this YouTube channel. Finally, then after all that, um, is just sort of like financials and 
sales project projection. I'm obviously going to have to think about how much I need to spend in order to get to um, you know the first day of sale. So how much is the coffee cart going to cost? Because um, it's not going to be an actual van that I buy. We're actually buying a van separately, which is going to be for like travel and adventure. And on the back of there, we're going to hook on the coffee truck which I'm thinking will most likely be a horse box, an old horse box. And then obviously I need to buy the, the actual coffee machine, I need to get all of the water works installed, I need to sort of like build it out and de decorate it, all that kind of stuff. So I need to work out exactly how much money I need to do that. And then how much or how long it's going to take me to make that money back um, so I can pay back the investor or the loan if I use one. I think I probably will have to because it's unlikely that I'm going to make 10 to 20 grand in the next year. So yeah, I need to work out how much money I need to, to make in sort of like the first one to two years to pay that back and then how long it's gonna take me to start actually making a profit from this. <sighs> that was a lot. <laughs> that is a very, very quick and brief overview of how my business plan is gonna look. Um, this is obviously just sort of like notes that I've taken. I'm gonna put it maybe into something a little bit more um, visual and put that into like a folder perhaps. But this is just a starting point. I just needed to do something to get me past sort of like the first hurdle, like I said, or past this first little block that I've had um, and start having a little bit more of a real vision. So hopefully that was useful. Sorry again, this is quite a talky video. I feel like some of these video diaries for the coffee van will be quite talky until we actually get to the point of buying the van and then it'll be a little bit more exciting perhaps but yeah i hope you've enjoyed it um and yeah i'm really really excited to get this little community going um i really want it to be a community i want it not to just be like all about me i want to build a community of specialty coffee lovers who um just want to share in that amazing taste without feeling sort of like judged or feeling like they I'm worthy of it if we all get to enjoy beautiful coffee and we also get to drink it with vegan milk we get to um, care about the planet we get to make a difference with our choices that's what I want this to be all about so yeah I'll stop talking now once again please do like and subscribe that mean the world to me and um, yeah I'll see you in the next one bye